these are the best decks for the two king the skeleton king and the barbarian king for the best barbarian king deck we got the archer the knight the ice wizard the spear goblin and the barbarian so the plan would be to get the archer the ice wizard and the knight and we don't want to waste our rerolls because we are going to save it for the further rounds and so the way it, the deck works is you know the barbarian and the archer with the bard synergy is just too strong the ice wizard also does pretty good slows then you got the knight which is a pretty decent tank for two elixir since it's better than the skeleton guard which doesn't integrates really well with the archetype that the barbarian king is going for and you got the spear goblin whose clash ability is pretty good for two elixir so yeah that's how the deck works and we somehow managed to won, win round number one although we had all the skills of barbarian king level one so yeah that's really unfortunate for the second round we are gonna get a gizmo which i'm gonna go for the sauna because sauna is a pretty fun gizmo since the elixir collector is pretty boring and the porter sometimes really doesn't get great value so yeah we are gonna sell the spare goblin and upgrade rice wizard to get our sauna up and once a mini gets KO'd and if it's a really good mini which gets powered up by sauna you are just an unstoppable force let's see which mini goes to the sauna first i think it could be the ice wizard because the miner is gonna target towards the ice wizard or it could be the barbarian which is really hard countered by the shield maiden okay so the ice wizard was the mini which goes towards the sauna and ice wizard is not really a good mini which you need in the sauna so yeah that's unfortunate and we might just lose this round although the potter is taken down come on the shield maiden is 1 hp but it just took down my ice wizard and we lost the second round but we still have two more rounds to spare and this time i'm gonna forcefully kill my Barbarian so that I can just get us Barbarian with superpowers with the help of Sauna and I'm gonna play the knight at the very back so that I can protect my ice wizard from the miner and let's see how things goes in this round let's just place the Barbarian on the electric tiles just so that he's gonna play the spear goblin on the electro tile and so it's gonna be KO'd even faster so let's see how things goes for us we are gonna use the most toxic emote the yawn emote and I think everything is looking well for us. The miner is going to be targeted by the knight. So yeah, the miner is not targeting anything else. And the barbarian as planned went to the sauna and now it's going to get the superpowers which is really strong. Let's see, is our barbarian enough to kill that potter? The barbarian is going totally ham on the shield maiden. It's time for the hot potter. The barbarian literally had 3.74 hits per second. That was just insane. Like you are dealing more than 3 damage every second. Let's see what we can do for the next round. We are going to upgrade the archer just so that we can take down the hot pot easily. And if we didn't manage to take it down then yeah that's an L but still. Archer upgraded is pretty good. And we are going to play the spear goblin on the hot pot and it's gonna damage it okay a change of mind from my side i'm gonna play it on the miners just so that i can take down the miner more easily so it doesn't annoy my knight a bit but it just got protected by the knight and so my knight again has to face off the miner but now my barbarian just again got power up from the sauna and now it's just a wrecking force which is gonna wreck everything then barbarian my soldier is going to go towards the potter it gets damaged by the potter but that's completely fine since it still has a lot of hit speed now can the healing ranger survive the barbarian mess no it deals four damage every hit and that's how you play with the best barbarian king deck next up is the skeleton king deck and for the skeleton king deck it's the triple clash roll ghost valkyrie deck and for this deck i'm gonna play the prince for the first round because i'm really vibing with the prince and we are not gonna waste any kind of rerolls so that we can upgrade our royal ghost in the further round. we are gonna use the most toxic emote the yawn emote because this really suits with the toxic deck since you are just filled with toxicity you got the three clash abilities you got the royal ghost you got the skeleton king you got the valkyrie everything is just toxic about this thing combined with the toxic emote makes the game more toxic and we are going to lose the first round but that's completely fine since we didn't use the two remaining elixir just for the further rounds so yeah well played bro but you haven't seen what i can do in the further rounds 
we are going to now play the royal ghost because yeah and we are going to get the elixir collector since elixir collector is a pretty good gizmo for this deck because it allows you to get more elixir and the more elixir you get the quicker you upgrade your win conditions the royal ghost and the valkyrie the elixir collector is being placed down we are going to play it at the very back so that we can protect the elixir collector for a bit longer so yeah everything goes invisible he doesn't use the wave master clash ability and everything is targeting towards my elixir collector but even two to three elixir is pretty decent value the mini pack is targeting towards the elixir collector we managed to pump up two elixir or maybe it was three i'm not sure we lost the second round but we have some more elixir which is gonna annoy that dude little dude you haven't seen what i can do i accidentally pressed the ready button we got two elixir from the elixir collector that's completely fine Two elixir milk is just too good. We three start the royal ghost, and now we also have the Valkyrie, so that would be really menacing for him. Come on, bro! You could have just pressed the ready button and saved twenty seconds of my useless speakings. Let's see what he has got for us. And can our three star royal ghost just defeat him? Come on, bro! You could have pressed. the ready button that's okay he finally pressed the ready button he has said not over yet it's not over yet bro it's not even over yet for me our elixir collector is just pumping up a lot of elixir two elixir pumped maybe we could get the third a uh, come on three elixir pumped up uh, can we get the fourth no we didn't got the fourth but three elixir is just fine number now my royal ghost is just targeting towards the Wave master everything is being taken down and that's how we won another round Let's see for the next round I might just upgrade my valkyrie okay so we have 10 elixir so we are going to three star our valkyrie if possible yep we got the three star valkyrie the clash mini rng team is with me and are you ready bro because I just had to upgrade my minis and nothing else I could have just placed the minis in any way I want and i still should have seen the same results because invisibility just makes the movement unpredictable so yeah okay i am just too overconfident and i'm going to say well played because i'm pretty sure this tech has nothing to stop me even if he gets the anti heal still my valkyrie is also going to target his valkyrie so yeah the healings are not the main key factor to win this game it's the power of the royal ghost and the valkyrie the everything is going to be taken down he got the anti heal as predicted but still that's not enough my skeleton king even got some souls and now we will pump up more elixir and now we won this round and it's time for the final round let's see what we can do for the final round and honestly this deck is just really too simple to play just upgrade your royal ghost valkyrie then at the last round just sprinkle up some clash abilities and that's how you win with this deck we are going to sell the spare goblin and get the extra damage on the bowler and now we are just going to do some minor adjustment to the placement and we would most likely win if we connected this clash abilities we could have easily won let's see if we could connect the clash abilities or not Come on bro you could have pressed the ready button it's just too time taking the preparation time has increased by a lot just because of the ready button and that's really annoying because most of the people haven't realized it that the ready button even exists like this dude who hasn't pressed the ready button yet okay so we missed the bowler but that's completely fine since our royal ghost valkyrie combo is just destroying everything the wave master stunned my royal ghost so that's really unfortunate but the royal ghost is the lone survivor it's targeting the dart goblin and the dart goblin is going to be taken down just now. what are you doing royal ghost you why the heck was it just standing but we somehow managed to win the game and that's how you play with the best way master deck good game well played bro